Reverend Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Today, I would like to go ahead and make an in-depth review, and I would like to elaborate more for you all on how I go about finding the correct needle depth upon tattooing human skin. I'm going to be recording some high-quality audio, so that way you all know when we're hitting the dermis. I'm going to be giving you up-close looks, so that way you can see what to look for, hear what to listen for, and everything in between. So should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, please feel free to pause the video and drop a comment below. I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. Now in this video, I'm going to be using the CNC WE Plus. As you can see, I have the pedal right here. I'm going to be using the Quill 0011 round liner to outline this entire tattoo. And again, I'm gonna be recording high quality audio so that way we know what to listen for upon tattooing. Now, as you can see, let me show you all my actual needle depth. For me, I personally like to hang my needle out of my cartridge here. Allow me to focus in on that. As you can see, I personally like to hang my needle out like so because I work off just the very tips of my needles. Now I know this right here may be a bit much for some. However, as you can see, that's where I put my needle. That's where I feel comfortable. As you see though, I love to hang my needle out quite a bit, the throw. I like to have it like that, just so that way I'm not riding the tube. So that's how I have it. That's going to vary from person to person. What you're more comfortable with um, is how you would want to approach it. So as you can see though, that's how I would go about setting up my needle depth right there. That's basically where I have it adjusted. And again, to each their own. For some, that may be a little much, but for me, that's around the ballpark that I am looking for. That right there is a little too close to the tube, so that feels just about right. And again, that is going to vary. So making sure that you have the uh, comfortable throw, your comfortable needle depth set prior to even touching the skin is very, very crucial and is something that should have a little bit of time invested into and that you don't overlook um, you know, a couple of notches there. So as you see, that's my depth. Let's go ahead and get into the tattooing aspect. Now, upon tattooing human skin, there's a few things that I'm considering. I'm considering the stretch on the skin, the design at hand, meaning which way I need to flow, and the depth that I'm going to be at are some of my main uh, thoughts that I'm thinking upon pulling lines in human skin. So let me use some Ink Ease Green, uh, I'm sorry, Ink Ease Holiday Glide, as you see right here. And I'm also going to be doing an in-depth review. Now, upon initially lubricating the area or moistening up the area, I'm just simply going to dab it with a little bit. I don't need much at all to go ahead and begin my tattoo. It's just very small amounts. And we're going to use very small amounts the entire way through. We don't want to lose the stencil too early either. And you also want to make sure that your stencil dries for a sufficient amount of time, um, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, the more, the longer, the better. So one of the main variables that I am looking for, again, though, upon tattooing is the sound. The sound is very, very important. When you break the skin, it's going to create a certain sound. And that's how you know you're more or less in the ballpark of where you need to be. And again, I'm going to overlap in this video with some high quality audio that I'm recording right here. So that way you can go ahead and hear it on your end. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the first line here. And I'm not going to fill my cartridge up all the way, as you see, because I don't want pull under my needle tip. And again, allow me to zoom in here. So upon pulling lines here on human skin, what I am listening for is the sound. And again, I'm feeling for the depth because it creates a certain tension or a certain vibration when you hit the right spot. So I'm gonna begin with this line right here and pull it this way. Make sure I'm on frame for you all. So right there is where we hit the dermis. And you can hear it when we break the skin. I'm not sure that's audibly apparent to you. However, you should be able to feel and hear that breakage of the skin on your end upon breaking the skin. Let's go ahead and go back over here. Okay. 
and I am running at 7.5 volts. So when the skin breaks, as you can see, we're getting nice, solid, saturated lines. This first one could use a little run through again. So you can hear that breaking of the skin. It's really audibly apparent. And that's what we have right there. Now I'm just dabbing right now because I don't want to wipe the entire stencil away. And I'm just going to keep that approach the entire way through. Per usual, just slow and steady. And small, small amounts of ink ease. So you can hear the breaking of the skin and you could feel it as well and I hope that this audio recording is also doing justice for you all to give you a better inside look as well as the angle here and you kind of just want to keep building your way around the tattoo do the lines that are more comfortable for you Make sure I'm on camera here. As you can see, just nice, slow, and consistent. So as you can see though, there is a level of confidence that you have to have upon pulling lines. So that way, you know, you know, to not go too deep or to not go too light because going too light can be just as bad. So let me see if I can explain better here. I'm finding a comfortable position that I'm gonna pull this line here at. So you can hear the breaking of the skin. And that's what you wanna listen for. But not only that, I feel the breaking of the skin as well upon pulling the lines there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this circle right here. Now we're just gonna keep going here and just knocking this out as best as we can here. And the process really doesn't change upon pulling lines. The depth, it kind of changes a little bit depending on the area of the body. You can feel that tension though, that resistance upon pulling these lines. You can definitely feel a certain amount of resistance and that's what you're feeling for. You're wanting to avidly look and feel for those resistances and listen for those sounds that I'm trying to elaborate here in this video for you all.
And the lines, I can do the details last. My focus is the pedals here. And also comfortability, making sure that you're pulling the lines in a direction that you're comfortable with is a very, very big deal as well. So as you can see, as consistent as I possibly can there. So that sound right there was apparent for the skin breaking. So as you can see those so far so great going smooth and as you can see I am using the Inky's Holiday Glide but very very small amounts like literal micro micro amounts of the Green Glide. I'm sorry of the Holiday Glide forgive me. And in terms of where you're going next it's going to be totally up to you where you feel most comfortable going next really that's what it comes down to so for me i'm going to move on over to this area right here and just go ahead and again take a listen and watch here as we open the skin This angle is very difficult here. Slow, steady, and consistent. I'm not rushing through it at all. I'm not overthinking or anything like that. We're just doing what we need to do here. As you can see, slow is fast, fast is slow, meaning if you just take your time, do the line the first time, you won't have to go back and build it up, build it up, build it up more. A level of confidence also plays a role in pulling lines. Just know that your abilities, that you know what you're doing. As you see those so far, so beautiful. It looks amazing. And the Inky's Holiday Glide really, it does, it's doing well. It's really um, festive. It does smell seasonal as well. It reminds me of spices. I am doing an in-depth review on that, so be sure to check that out as well. So we're just going to go ahead and tattoo these last petals on. Okay. 
as you can see though when i stretch i'm getting three points here um this palm my palm and then my fingers there Right there, that sound. When we create that sound on human skin, it creates a certain, a certain like drawback, a certain feedback there that we feel. And that's how we know we're hitting the right areas. Very nice. And we have one more pedal to go there. Let's go ahead and do that together here as well. And again, a lot of this is just really straightforward. Like once you learn the basics, practice on fake skin and you can pull a nice consistent saturated lines on fake skin you're one step closer to being much more confident and doing human skin. Last pedal line right here. So that is essentially the outline. We are done with the outline there, as you can see. Now we're gonna go back and add the little details on the inside of the petals there. So that way we get the full look there of the tattoo. Okay, so here we go. And then we're just gonna, again, the process in terms of applying the tattoo and pulling the lines does not change. Uh, just slow and steady, nice and consistent. Making sure that you have a nice stretch on the skin, as you see. And making sure that you are just taking your time, really, that's what it comes down to, and having that level of confidence, knowing that you know what to do, how to do it, so therefore you kind of just do it, is my approach. As you see, and this is very, very painful, but I'm doing my best to touch base, let you all hear, and show you all this. And we're just literally going to repeat that process all the way around until the petals are done. Let me make sure I'm on camera here. So 
slow and steady, nice and consistent all the way through. You can hear that. You can hear the breaking of the skin and you can feel the resistance the skin provides. That right there is how you know you're in the dermis. So far, this thing looks beautiful. I'm very, very happy with the results that we are achieving here on camera together. We're just gonna keep pushing it and um, yeah, just keep taking in what you can. But as you see, overall, the tattoo came out great. It did come out nice. Let's go ahead and clean it up here. We will hit it with a little bit of water there as well and green soap. Let me zoom out a little bit out here so we can get a read on it. Overall, as you can see though, the tattoo came out beautiful. The lining came out great. I do feel like we did a great job overall. Now, um, that's pretty much my approach. That's how I would go about lining a tattoo. As you can see though, it's just a certain, it's not really easy, I would say. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's super easy, but what I would say is that it does require a level of confidence. It does require patience and it does require a certain skill set to be able to pull consistent lines back to back to back to back. Um, you have to listen for the breaking of the skin. You have to feel for the resistance on your end. So therefore, this isn't something that could necessarily be taught. This has to be developed. However, what I can do is show you the key points on what to look and listen for along your way. So that way you're well aware and more acquainted with what to do upon tattooing. Now, yet again, I do hope that this video can shed some light for you and or help you in a better direction. Should you have any questions at all about anything that you saw throughout this video, please feel free to drop it in the comments down below. I'm going to do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. If you're not, I do have social medias all under the same name at Daniel Yuck. That's going to be D-A-N. I-E-L-Y-U-C-K. I would truly appreciate the support on there. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Yet again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I am going to be bringing more videos for you like this. Thank you all for tuning in yet again. You all have a great day.